end of the tunnel, there's more to come. Shocks by the chicken coop, and they're trying to see if they can bait out the shot, but he's not buying, taking down Valde, and falling in behind cover. He wants to take this fight. He wants to end this game. AC and Cajun, they know they're in trouble. 30 seconds on the clock, and the bomb is on the other side. While the fight is happening here, body coming really close to AC, and there's the headshot, and it's all on Cajun B. 20 seconds in a one versus four here. G2 Esports have played an incredible tournament, and they're just one kill away, and it's gonna happen. 16 to nine as G2 are your DreamHack Masters champions. Amazing. From start to finish in these games, G2 has looked so focused, so prepared, dismantling a team that we said the very same thing about just yesterday. Kenny S with the offing in this grand final was phenomenal, and the whole team coming through. No questions about their play here today. Phenomenal to see it. You mentioned that fateful game back in 2015 where Kenny disappeared on this very map this time he was here with an amazing performance. They win the grand finals. Your champions, ladies and gentlemen, G2. I say we let him go for a minute. What do you think? Sorry? I say we let him go for a minute. What do you think? Uh, what? I say we let him go. The crowd's hyped. What do you think? Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Congratulations. You guys have grabbed the big, big W here at DreamHack Malmo. How do you feel? Oh, I mean, we're not coming to, into this tournament expecting a win. So, I mean, we've, we've, we've taken it game by game and we took down some of the biggest beasts in the world. I mean, the fitting is great in our team. I mean, obviously we just won, but I mean, the fashion we, I mean, everything we showed, the way we played as a team, I mean, it is a very good fitting. You're saying the best of the best, and that is certainly true. SK, Nip, and now North have fallen to your guns. And looking forward, North putting up a good fight here. Talk to me a little bit about their battle back. Um, I mean, it, it was a tough game, like on Inferno, we kind of lost ourselves on the city side. Uh, they had some good rounds and they just pushed Banana every single round. Aside from that, I mean, Cobalt was a tough fight. We just managed to win the economy battle. That was the most important. And yeah, we just locked down the bomb sites and managed to know more or less what they were doing, make the good gambles. So yeah, I mean, just proud of the way the team played. When you came into this matchup, there was a little bit of time to prepare knowing that your opponent was going to be north. What did you guys look to capitalize on here? <laughs> Nothing at all. <laughs> I mean, just shutting down Config because he's an amazing player and I mean, he showed it time and time again. And aside from that, I mean, we played our game focused on ourselves. We were not sure what the maps were going to be. And yeah, it just happened. Work. It, it just kind of happened. That's exactly how that works. Looking at this, though, when a player like Apex comes online, and honestly, he's been putting them down all tournament long, how much easier is it for you guys? I mean, due to the fact that he is also leading Mirage and that he prepared the map, he showed up individually. I mean, he's by far the MVP of the tournament. Now, one last question I have for you. And a team that has seen its inconsistency, is this a new chapter for G2? Hope so. I mean, we've been working on that, working on the basic and trying to grind one game after another. And hopefully we can grind one even on top of another. And that's, that's the only thing we're aiming for. That's all it is. It's building blocks, baby. All right. Well, I'm going to throw it one last time over to the desk where Alex and the boys are waiting by.